Good morning. Let's do a quick audio check, make sure everything is working properly. And, uh, and then we'll be able to start a little bit early today. And, uh, and then we'll be able to start. All right, that sounds good. Back to the dashboard so we can see chat. And let's switch on over. All right, perfect. So uh, today we're back to uh, making the game again. So we don't need you. Let's go ahead and uh, load up and, and get going. Uh, okay, so if I remember correctly, the last uh, the last thing that we were working on was inside of the bot, I believe, and we wanted to do this, uh, self.location plus equals to distance. But of course, uh, that doesn't work because uh, the point two that we get from GG, or GGEZ, does not implement um, add a sign. So we're gonna have to create that ourselves, and we the very last thing we did working on the game was to create an experiment to see could we just create our own structure that uh, would implement add assign and and would that be fine? And the answer was yes, it does. And so we're gonna have to rip out all the places we use point to and replace it with whatever system we create. So that will be thinking not live, I'm thinking that we're going to want to create something specifically for this. And the naming of it is going to be a bit interesting because um, like mathematically speaking, what we're creating is a vector. But unfortunately, Rust also has vectors, which are sort of arrays or are lists of, uh, of like items. So I have to come up with a completely different name for it. Uh, because it's kind of the same and kind of not. So I want specifically a, uh, let's see, I want specifically a vector of F32s in this case, although we could use generics to, to make it so it works either way. It doesn't really matter. Let's try, um, I mean, I guess I could just call it point. Uh, I was also thinking of calling it location or coordinates. Um, point is smaller and uh, it's sort of like a recreation of this except with a couple extra stuff on it. So maybe that's what I'll call it. I'll call it point. Point.rs and then we can change the name later if we really want to. Uh, okay, so I want to uh, create a test for this. So if I remember correctly, whoa. It's this CFG test. I'll just copy that over. Uh, good morning, stacking. It's only, I didn't tweet it out. I tried to tweet it out. Did that not go out? Oh, I have a interesting so I have a warning on my Twitter saying that I attempted to send a duplicate tweet. Because apparently the tweet is exactly the same as the last wording and it's within 12 hours or so. So therefore, I guess it thought that I was just making a mistake. Uh, that needs to be rectified. Tweet, um, I'm live on Twitch. Bang. That shouldn't be a duplicate. Tweet sent, okay. <laughs> thank, thank you, Stacking, and good morning. I'm kind of surprised that that, that did that to me. Uh, okay, so for this test, we're gonna have our we want to uh, just test that we can create a new point. So new 
point. Uh, so, you guys aren't doing Advent of Code at work? Sort of, I'm doing Advent of Code. Nobody else at work has joined um, me at this point in time. Uh, I am doing it in Rust too. I've done, I've got four, four stars uh, so far. I was gonna get, um, I was sort of working on the fifth star yesterday and ran out of time and I was doing it during lunchtime too. So I'll probably continue that, uh, I'll continue that endeavor today. Um, okay, so function new point, we're going to just let, um, what we could say is like let x equals today. Yeah, so I was on the Discord. I heard a a, a lot about that. We'll we'll see how it how it goes. Um, there's a lot of other people putting in their their answers um, in Stack Overflow. Oh, sorry, Stack Overflow, GitHub. Uh, so I will I'll potentially use that too. So if we do 10.0, so this is floats. Now let my point equals point new, and we're gonna hand it x and y, which this should be a y, not an x. Uh, stacking, are you uh, are you doing uh, advent of code this year? Okay, so point, point new, x and y, and then that's, then we can use our asserts. So we're gonna assert equal that uh, point dot x is equal to x. Assert equal point dot y is equal to y. So. Pretty simple, pretty simple today. Uh, good morning, Miguel. This is the first year you haven't done it. Um, yeah, de definitely. Well, I mean, it's a good learning, uh, it's, it's always a good learning exercise. I kind of wanna like, you know, every once in a while just go back and do one of the old, you know, the older ones because I don't think I ever really did it before. So I have what, like three years worth of, uh, three or four years worth of Advent of Code that I've never done. Uh, okay, so if I if I run this, of course, it's gonna fail because point doesn't exist, right? I'm actually kind of surprised that it's, um, does it does it need to be modded in to actually work? So let's try cargo test. Oh, so we have cannot add a sign. So it's still it's still complaining about that. All right, so we have we have this test. If we come back to bot and we sort of comment this out or rather instead of commenting out we could we could do it the way it's supposed to be done the way they would expect so like self.location.x um, plus equals distance.x self.location.y plus equals distance.y so that that should work and stop complaining uh, Go is a good language, although I haven't played with it, but I have some friends that have, and they, they say that they really like it. Um, also, back to Twitch here, please. Um, okay, so you're just complaining you're not being moved. You're not being used. I'm fine with that. So I'll underscore you to make you not care anymore. Well, okay, you are being used. Right here. I don't know why that was underlined green for a second. Method is never used to move bot, except there it is, right there. Oh, that's in a test, that's why. 
All right, well, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and run our test again. Okay, so I think I actually have to bring it in to get the, oop, that was what I wanted, to get the file to run. So inside of point rs, um, actually, is there a library? Do I need point in here? No, so I don't need in there. Don't need it in there, just in bot. So if I, if I mod, uh, I guess I'll call it mod point. Yeah, let's just call it mod point. So if I do that, now will you complain? File not found module point. Where are you looking? Oh, it wants it inside of bot. Bot point mod. Okay, so that's not good. Can I put this in? lib so mod point okay now now it's error now it's erroring out because i can't find it so that's probably exactly what we want yes to use the undeclared type okay so now now we're able to work on this so struct point, uh, we're going to have an X. So um, we could make this, um, for right now, we only need F32s. And so I'm thinking we could just keep it that way. And then if we need uh, integers, then we could switch this over to two generics. So F32. I don't need anything else in here right now, which means now it's time Oh, now let's create an implement point and we'll do function new. We'll take in an X, which is an F32, and a Y, which is an F32. We'll return a new point, point X, and Y. All right, so that, that should work. All right, all tests passing. So of course, the interesting thing that we really want is to have two of these and then do the add a sign. So let's add a new test. And we'll call this um, add to points or add a sign, add a sign points. So the first point we want to do, we'll do let point one equals point new. We'll do, uh, how about one dot zero and uh, two dot zero, let point two. Uh, I did not read the official patch notes yet. Uh, I think I saw that they were released, but I, I hadn't gotten around to reading them yet. Um, the biggest hype, oh, so the biggest hype stuff didn't make it. Well, it'll, it'll drop soon. It's like less than three months away, right, for the next part, or am I wrong with that? Okay, so point new. Uh, and this could be like 5.0 and 6.0. Then I want to say point 0.1 plus equals to point 0.2. 
And now we'll do the assert equal. All right, so assert equal that point one. So point one dot x uh, is equal to, well, it's, it's really gonna be one plus point two, so it's gonna be six. Zero. Assert equal. Point one dot y is now going to be equal to eight dot zero. Oh, three or more parts. I guess that kind of makes sense. A, a gigantic, um, huge update all at once is not necessarily that great because it might be too many changes at once. So I kind of like the idea of just releasing when they're ready. Um, although, like, I'm never a huge fan of predicting in software development, so I'm kind of, I kind of would rather them just say, hey, here's the general timeline, but no dates are assigned. We're working on them, and they'll come out when we can get them. Uh, Yazil yeah, MCI, uh, good morning. Uh, okay. So with this, let's run the test to make sure. I know we're getting a failing one because we got that underscore red. Uh, cannot use plus equals an S. Bundling into a big addition name is also kind. Um, I think that big addition name comes as a side effect of trying to like have a date assigned to it because then if you have a date you can give it a name and you can do all sorts of other stuff if it's just more of like hey update and here's the feature um that and then here's a, a roadmap of the features in the order that we're working on might in my mind might be a little bit better all right so let's next now let's now implement add assign the trait for point so this is going to be implement add assign for point I think that's what it is I think it will automatically find this cannot find trait add assign in a scope all right uh, an implementation of, oh it's standard ops add assign that's what it is so we need to use standard ops add a sign and then this will this will be sort of like the implementation of that oh it's uh it's turkish well still welcome um it's awesome having you here Uh, okay, so now I'll trade items are implementing missing function add assign. So let's go ahead and do that. So function add assign. It has the right hand, the right hand symbol thing. Um, and I think we also take in a mutable reference to self and the right hand one. So we'll call this other point. And uh, we're not going to return anything at all. At least I don't think we need to return anything. No. Uh, so in this case, it's going to be self.x plus equals other point.x, self.y plus equals other point.y. And that's pretty much what add assign is. Um, missing add assign. I have add assign. Did I not do it correctly? Oh, it does need a trait. Okay. Wait, is that only a nightly? Huh. 
Huh, look at this. Implement add assign for point. There's no return value. Do we need to dereference it? Not all trait items implemented missing add assign. I have add assign. And expected a colon here. Do I need the where? Is this a sign for movement? Kind of, sort of. Um, what I want to be able to do is take a, a coordinate and be able to add a sign like this and be able to add two coordinates together. Let me just try running this and see what uh, real RLS tells me. It might give me more information. Okay, so expected one of colon or at found close parentheses. Oh, right, right, because I totally forgot to put a type here. So this is a point like that. There, that should work. Uh, cannot borrow mutably for point one. Um, oh yes, we need to make this mutable here. All right, so uh, that gives us passing tests. We're able to uh, to run with um, this point now. We have our new function, and we have add a sign set up for it. Perfect. So now the theory is we're not using point to anywhere here. So we're going to go to bot. We're going to go find where point two is. We're going to remove this. And now anywhere where it's going to yell at us because we don't have it set up, uh, we want to change it to point and uh, and sort of use, use that. Uh, I wonder if I can, can I just use point? Will that work? Okay, so can't find it. Uh, this is a, a cup of tea, so I've got some uh, black tea here, and I'm drinking that for my caffeine this morning. Uh, okay, so we need to pull this in. Right now in library, we're bringing in the mod point. And bot, I don't think we could use mod. Um, is it just the name of my, is it use um, br code, is it code, gg, point like that? So this is where I haven't really used um, a library system like this before in Rust, so it's, do I have to extern create this? Kind of can't find the crate for it. Um, oh yeah, don't don't worry. I I drink plenty of water the rest of the day. Although plenty of tea also. Um, although not all of it black. Uh, okay, so we have external external crate. If I run this, we should get, we'll still get a bunch of errors, but maybe we'll get, here, let's switch this back to point two. And I could do a counting of errors. Nope, not cargo test. Oh, actually we got this, can't find crate. So it couldn't find where this is. Um, okay, so this is clearly not the way I'm supposed to do that. That's not either. So how am I supposed to get access to point from this library here? That's, um, 
guess that's that's an interesting one. Let's uh, let's, let's head over to Google and find out. So, uh, Rust Lang library file. Um, I guess library files. Not really sure how to like import them. Um, okay, so maybe maybe separate. I could do the, the equivalent like import. Import files. I always figure this out, then forget the next day. I do, don't I? Um, although, I don't think I did exactly the same for this last one. Because this one was like mod bot mod point. And that works in here. But when I tried mod point in here, it got upset because I needed it inside of a, a folder bot. Yeah, it wants it inside there as, as opposed to inside the source. So that's, that's another problem that I guess I have, is now I need to be able to mod from within one of these other files. So slight, slight difference. I guess like it's mod from a mod. Uh, Create some modules. Let's go take a look at the book again and see what it had. Did it have two files deep? I know that it had the network and client and had librs. So for example, in network, could I grab client? All right, let's go take a look at your example stacking. Oh, so there's deeply nested Is that something special or is that like actually the mod name, the file name would be deeply nested and these are, oh, these would be the functions, wouldn't they? Now, would these other functions be available inside of other mods? So for example, is inside of deeply, is that So for, I guess, this isn't exactly, exactly what, uh, what I was using. Deeply nested as other functions. I don't think I can do so in, in bot, I don't think I can do like dot dot, right? No, because I can't actually give it a string. I have to get, just give it what I want to. And if I say point, so it expects it to be inside of a directory named bot. In lib, mod bot is fine. So how do I make point available to bot? So that's I guess that's that's kind of what I want to do is um is say rust lang uh, module 
available other modules. Output ref. How did I solve the sound problem? Um, oh, because you're on Linux when you try to record sound. I'm using OBS and recording on my Windows system. So there's that. Struct visibility. Yeah, maybe. Let's go take a look. Um, however, just using a really good microphone and playing around with the settings has helped a lot with, uh, with sound stuff on Linux. Structs have an extra level of visibility within their fields. The visibility defaults to private. Oh, I need to public these. So pubstruct point, we need to pub x, pub y, and pub function new. And add a sign, I think, is point for it too. I don't know if I need to. Um, to make that public. Now, if I do that, can I just do I guess it would be use point point Okay. Ah, so that's that who it is. I forgot the uh, the public. Thank you, stacking. Um, oh, you have no condenser mic. That it makes it a little bit harder. All right, so let's make all of these points. And. Graphics, you're upset. Expected struct, GGZ, and algebra point found struct point point. Okay, so where bot location, publication is point. Wait, I'm just saying that your, your location is just one of my points. I want to run the test on this again, find out, is that really an error? Okay, it is. Oh, because graphic circle needs it to be a an algebra point. So do I want to, do I want to have like a converter for this? Right, because the circle expects that. So we ran into a problem where I can't just implement add a sign off of it directly. In fact, I couldn't I couldn't like run my own and just like update somebody else's crate with my own traits, which I thought was a little bit sad, but totally um, totally works. Does the add as work? Uh, I guess I could try. So GG easy and algebra point. So we need a point two, so we, we still do need point two off of here. Or rather, GGZ n algebra point. So, thinking this could become n algebra here. And then in circle, I want to as. And algebra point because I want to convert it over to a point like this my guess is no I, I don't think it's going to be implemented wrong number of type arguments expected to found zero okay maybe it'll give me some more information
expected two type arguments. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily give me super much, super good information. Uh, I wonder if I can I guess I can't really do anything crazy with this. I don't know if the point works like this. I'm wondering, I'm wondering here if if I create another another function, I'm not really sure how to test this properly. Besides, I guess if you're Okay, so I can add in an algebra point and I could just say convert to convert to GEZ easy point. So this wouldn't be a trait, this would be just here. So we can do, I guess that it works. Um, I'll do another test. Convert to GGZ point two. So we'll do let point um, equals. I guess I'm not don't want to convert. I want to get. So this is gonna be more of like get GGZ point two. So that point equals a point new. 1.0, 2.0. We want let ggz point equals. So this is going to be, we're going to need the external crate. So external crate uh, was that ggz. Use GGEZ. I think it was graphics. Point two. Uh, I actually think I just want to keep graphics, so I can just go. Or no, okay, I do want this. Um, I want to say point two. Isn't it? Can I do this? Point two as or as. I can do like the renaming, right? And I always forget exactly how, I don't think this one has it. Let's go take a look. Um, use rust lang rename. Guess it wouldn't be rename. Um, maybe it would be like an alias. I guess I should just search for use. Use wrestling, and then we'll go find out what what other what other things can we do with this. So use, oh, except use is going to be used. Google's going to have trouble with this. Ah, all right. For right now, I'm going to skip that. And we'll just use graphics, and then I'll just manually reference graphics point two, so that way it doesn't get confusing with this point, especially if I need to change this to point two to like indicate that it's a completely different coordinate system. Uh, okay, so ggez point is going to be graphics point to new, um, and this will be 1.0, 2.0, and then I want, I don't think I can do equality with Actually, I don't think I've tried that of saying like let equal 
assert. Assert equals, we're going to want um, point dot get ggez point two. Wait, the G, it had it on that page? I wasn't even, I just briefly looked through, but I didn't see it like instantaneously, and so therefore I had stopped looking. Um, all right, let's take a look. Mod, let's look for a use. I'm not seeing, oh, I was on a deeply nested one, that's, okay. That wasn't that one. Here it is. Oh, okay. Use deeply nested function as other functions. That's so it is that. Okay. So the, I what I could say is use ggez graphics point two as ggez. I guess I could just do this. Um, G G.2? G.2. All right, so you're you're not that upset with me if we're doing that. So okay, so this can now be G.2 new. Awesome. Well, thanks for stopping by, uh, Yazil. Have a uh, great rest of your day, and have a good. Um, uh, yeah. You, uh, are you going to make a live stream right now, or? Oh yeah, awesome. Then uh, have a good stream. Um, okay. So point get gg easy point two. If we call that, will the assert equal? Can I just hand it? GG easy point. Uh, I don't think, especially if I do something like this, I don't actually think I can. Although I've never tried, so maybe maybe it will just work, but my guess is no. All right, let's, let's run the tests and see, make sure we get the normal error. Okay. Uh, oh, so we're still getting all of these errors here, but can I get, all right, so at least we're getting the, uh, the test error too. So assert equal point get ggz point two, no, uh, no method for, found for that. So let's implement that. So implement on point. There's gonna be a public function. I'm gonna call this get ggez.2. So get ggez.2. We need a just a reference to self. We don't need anything else. And we're going to return a g.2. All right, so uh, this should be relatively simple. We'll just do g.2, new, and then we're going to hand it um, self.x, self.y. Wow, RLS, okay. Let's try this again. Okay, so we got mismatch type still. So that's graphic circle, graphic circle. Okay, so it couldn't compile, but it's no longer showing an error for the test, so I'm thinking that that's working now. But it's really hard for me to verify until we actually use that. So if we come back to bot, and we say with this get location 
instead of, I guess it'll be self deletion dot get gz z point two. Is there, okay, I'm just, I'm not seeing any errors. Let's try it. Okay, no errors, everything working. So I can do that, uh, that's sort of like testing equal and it's testing like, I guess deeply to make sure that it's um, all the, uh, the arms are the same. We don't need you anymore. And move, okay, so move bot is never used. I think we're, I think we're back to where we sort of left off except things are now working. Uh, and I kind of want to test this to make sure it's still running. So cargo run. And there we go. Now they're now they're moving along. Now I'm not using the add assign properly yet, so I need to do that. So the entire point of all of this work today was that instead of doing um, in bot instead of doing self location dot x, I could just do self location plus equals distance, and this one like that, and like that, and theoretically it should just work. Oh, of course I can't. Ooh, interesting. So. I need to give it a reference, don't I? I? Need to give it a reference so that way it doesn't um it doesn't like move it. Otherwise, uh that doesn't work. So, we need we need a little bit more work with this. Let's um let's go back to our point. Uh we want to make sure that we can do it twice and have it not run into any uh, moving problems. So I'm going to go ahead and comment that out so we don't have the errors anymore. Let's rerun the test again. So cargo test. Just want to make sure I'm back to a state with no errors. Then we're going to create the error by recreating the problem in the test. Move bot failed. Oh, because it doesn't move right. So we need to come back to bot. All right, that should that should work. Putting it back to the way it was. All right, good. Now that we have it passing test, let's make sure it doesn't pass the test. Uh, when we add aside points, um, we want point one, point two. We, oh wait, you know what? This is this is silly. Um, I just realized I was gonna add it twice. That's not what we want. In bots, we just want to add it once and it will do the X and the Y. So giving it ownership to then delete at the end of the um, uh, should be fine. This this should work. So if we if I run this, everything should be good. All right, perfect. And uh, and they're all moving around too. Um, now you're saying 
move bot is never used. Is that because it's never used internally? It's it's used only by the library. So I want to make this a public move bot, I believe. Because this is happening out here, right? Move bot. Because we have the test, and in live, we create the bot, we update. Okay, so it's not there. Oh, so this isn't really doing it, it's right here. We're, we're updating here, so what I want to do is we have So movebot is not being used properly, but we do have the test where if we run movebot, we do test to make sure that it went to the correct place. So now, instead of just self deduplication is random x and random y, random gen range, uh, we're gonna want to create new points and then, uh, and then move that, so. We're gonna have to say, let um, let new location, just like random location equals point new, and we can do random x, random y. Now we'll just do self.location plus equals random location. And that, uh, actually, I don't need to do move. I could just do self.location, self.move, self.move bot and random location. That, that should work. All right, let's let's see if we get exactly the same uh, features out of this. And we do, okay, so now the move is working properly. Uh, I don't need to make this public. It is a private function. And, uh, and everything is good. Um, oh, the walkers are so happy they can't contain it and they jump around from excitement. Yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of it. Um, all right, so what else can we do in the last 15 minutes? We have them jumping all around. Uh, I kind of want to figure out, so we're, we're moving towards putting the logic into a thread and just telling it to go and like ask the thread, what, what should I do next? And so I could do that or I can keep it within the arena and they'll all sort of like stay, stay inside. I'm kind of thinking that it'll be easier today to just keep them inside of the arena or at least uh, keep, ooh, do I want to keep the middle? Probably want to keep the edges of them in and the bot has the radius. So after I update, after I move the bot, I want to keep them inside. So, which means I need to know the arena location. So when I create the bot, it does need to keep track of the arena location. So that's, that's interesting also. So not necessarily hard here, but when I create a new bot, this is just the location of where the bot is going to be. I'm thinking maybe I should change this to be this is the width and height of the location. 
So this should be bot that look. So instead of bot look, well, bot location dot x should be a number. So maybe instead of assert equal, we should do this as assert. Ah. Okay, so I want this to be assert. Uh, bot the location dot x should be greater than zero, and bot dot location dot x should be less than um, three hundred. So we're gonna do this is the width and the height of the entire arena essentially, and that should be zero dot zero. Okay, so if I take you, we're going to copy you and replace you. All right, so now it's going to be y should be greater than 0 and less than 300. Okay, you are y also. And assert equal bot radius is this. And we also want to assert equal the width and the height. So assert equal bot dot um, arena width is going to be 300.0 and this is going to be arena height is 300.0 okay perfect uh, now of course these are going to fail because we don't have them in here. So let's go ahead and uh, and add it in. So of course it's saying, hey, we don't have that field. So public struct bot. Let's also make arena width. This can be an F32 arena height. F32. When we create a new, we're going to get so this is going to be changed to width. You are going to be, uh, I guess I should just call this arena. Arena width, arena height, uh, location. So, location is going to be a random spot somewhere in the middle here. So let location equals point new um, x and y. So we can now, oh, we have random, so we can just create a random number off of that. Right now we're doing that inside of libraries here. Let's just change that. Let's just remove that completely from here. And put that into bot. All right, so let x, let y equals random, and now location will be x and y. The radius will be 25, we're just setting that. And we have the arena width and arena height. What we're missing here is now, uh, also we need, oh, we need RNG. We forgot to grab this too. So that should be good there. These will be the arena width and the arena height. And then inside the bot, we're going to just put the arena width, arena height, and arena width like that. Uh, okay, so that that successfully makes the bot be able to track the the width of the area. It starts in a random location somewhere within the arena, and this test should pass now. Uh, I could run it again, except for the fact that we're going to have problems with libraries because we're no longer passing in the correct things. So 
let's uh, let's go ahead. We no longer need this random number generator. We're creating an, a vector of bots uh, for you know we have the number of them to create. That bot equals bot new, and we have width and height here, so we can just pad in, pass in width and height. And that should give us our bot, and then we push that in. And these aren't being used anymore, so we don't need them. All right, so save that. Is there anything else? Everything should just work. We should be able to run the tests again. Although that wasn't the test, I just did up arrow. All right, so that should be fine. Um, right, I'm not using those yet, but that'll be that'll be in a little bit. So, cargo test. Let's make sure the tests are all passing. Oh, failed. Okay, so move bot. What did you? Penected assertion failed. Left equals right. So left was negative 11 dot something and right was 250. Oh, because now in these in these tests, in bot, when I create new bots, it's the wrong stuff because I'm no longer create, giving it. Oh, so this is going to be interesting. So when I move, uh, what? Okay, so here's what I'm going to. This is going to be the size of the arena. It's 300 by 300. Assert bot location X. Oh, this is new bot. Move bot. So we have new one, 300, 300. Distance, we're going to move it left by 50. Bot, move bot, distance. And that is. going to move it to the left a little bit and we want the location x to change so in reality we need to just get what the uh, the current location really is and make sure it's moved by that amount so let um, I guess like let location dot x equals this is before we move it okay so We'll just do let x equals bot.location.x, let y equals bot.location.y, and now here these can be replaced with the x and y. Now we don't know exactly what this is, so move bot, this should be x minus 50.0. Um, y should be exactly what it is still, and now these will be uh, bot.location.x, bot.location.y. All right, so a little bit more dynamic of a test, but should still be happy. Okay. And then moving moving forward with this, if I wanted to uh, in update, we want to sort of like keep the bot within the arena. That would be a new function. So test and keep in arena. So we're not going to be able to finish this today, but we're going to be able to start working on it. So that way, next time we know what to what to work on. So keep in arena is well, basically, if the bot is outside of the arena, then we want to run keep in the arena and make sure that it gets in. So if we create a um, let's 
I guess we're gonna need let mute bot equals bot new. And this is going to be, we can just do another 300.0 by 300.0. Then we want a new sort of like distance. So let distance to move equals, there's gonna be a point, new. Let's do, let's move to the right by 500.0 and it's going to be 0, 0.0. So we're just going to check to make sure the right is 300 essentially minus the radius. So distance to move is that. Uh, we then want to move the bot. Um, or rather, we can predict where the bot should be. I'm not sure the best um, let bot um, where bot should be. Ah, no, I'm just gonna move the bot. All right, so we're gonna say bot dot move bot. Hand it the distance to move. And then we're going to do our assert equal. So assert equal bot dot location. So bot location X should now be, we know that it's, um, it should be 300.0 minus bot dot radius. And assert equal We don't know where the Y was, so I'm not gonna worry about that right now. We just know that we moved to the right. Uh, it should be back to here. We already checked that it's not moving up or down, so we just need to check this one, that it's within the arena. Of course, this will fail when we run it because we don't have that. Uh... Oh, um, there, there's no function sort of like keep it within the arena keep within the arena. So we move the bot and then we have, we have to have like a bot dot um, keep in arena function like that. And 731, but I might actually be able to do this really, really quickly. Although I think maybe it's best for me to leave this for next time. So, Let's go ahead and send up all these changes. So uh, converted over to my own points. I'll send this on up. And let's go get the GitHub URL. I still haven't used it enough for it to be up there. So uh, let's say br code gg. And I'll share this out with everyone. All right, so um, there is the link to the code. I've just pushed up the changes that I just did. Uh, you can go take a look at them. You could download it, um, read it on your own system, or run it on your own system. Right now, it's uh, it's not in a working state because we haven't implemented this other test. Although I guess that kind of works. Um, it'll I think that will compile without the test working. But uh, next time, what we're going to do is make it so that they can't run off the edge of the screen. They get sort of kept inside. Um, and with that, uh, I think I'm going to go get ready for the rest of my day and head off to work. And, uh, and I'll see you all uh, tomorrow. Uh, have a great rest of your day. And uh, well, that's, that. that's all I've got. So see ya.